Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, bringing you part 15 of this Fallout New Vegas Dead Money DLC video walkthrough. <laughs> and once again, you'll notice that this shit's been sped up because this is exactly what I've just said. It is shit, and unfortunately, it's um, me being stuck for, for longer than it should be, but by the end of this video, everything will be back on track, and hopefully you'll start enjoying the guide again. Uh, I don't know if you've been enjoying me um, getting frustrated and angry at it, but you know, what the fuck. So, there's a radio to destroy if you're being in interfered with your collar and you need to get rid of it. And um, I'm just going to be walking around like an idiot now, trying to figure some shit out before I click on that the key is on the bar. And I still haven't got rid of that hologram, which means you're going to see the location in this video of, of where his sensor is that gets rid of him. And I'm hoping it's going to be pretty soon, because that guy's still running about. But yeah, cruise back onto this bar, as you've seen me numerous times, I'm not learning anything new, still at the fucking bar, tons of vodka on the shelf, hologram in there, it's just bullshit, it's so bad. Harmonica on the desk, a nice little vending machine scotch recipe. I've already messed with that computer to change the, the pattern, it's... Back down the stairs, aiming there. Right, the hologram's fucked off, so maybe now I'll be able to find how to turn him off. So that door is shut. There he is. And there's another crazy edit as I've been running around like an idiot again. <laughs> See, there's nothing in this area. I don't even know why I'm here. Just back into the suites. That was not the suite, sorry, back into the casino. Shooting me gun there out of frustration because I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. It's just, I mean, look at this. There is absolutely no indication of what you're supposed to do. And because the lighting in here is so bad, there's no way you're going to see that key unless you drop on lucky. And that's the door that you need to open once you get the key, so remember that door, because that's where we'll go next. And basically, as soon as you enter the Sierra Madre, two videos back, run up there to the bar, pick up the key, and then run to that door that I was just by, and you will effectively do what's going to take me three videos to do. That's how simple it is, but how bullshit it is if you don't know what you're doing. It's just goodness me. I mean, just look at this. There's your door. There's the electrical cupboard. The key is on the bar on the second floor, and I just don't have an idea what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know right now where I'm supposed to. And it's right there, the key. I've just jumped over it. And there's the corridor with the, the hologram once again. Who I still haven't killed. And yeah, just more apologies from me. I'm I'm sorry that you're gonna have to sit through this shit. I would put it times 400 or something like that, so it's even quicker. But then I can't commentate over it because I can't actually see it in the preview window. It just freezes over. I don't know if that's to do with my laptop's processor or something, but it's just not a a valid option. And that was a radio on top of there. I don't know if it was affecting my collar. There's my best friend. And there you go. That's what disables the hologram. It's just to the left of that door jam there. Shoot that and he will not be a problem anymore. <laughs> I'm even trying to shoot door handles now and looking in buckets. That's how desperate I am right now just to figure this shit out. Because I am really confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I've been in this room and nothing's changed, I've gone in that corner and nothing's changed, I don't know what I'm going to think I'm going to find, but y you do get really desperate when you don't know where you're going on a game, and you, it's, you kind of get into that obsessive compulsive nature, as if, if I check it for the third time I might find something new, and I've just cut out there a section of me running all the way back into the other room and then back into this section, and this is me effectively figuring out what to do, because a friend of mine told me that there's a security passcode on a desk and there you go 
that's your security passcode all you have to do with that now is put it into the computer and it will unlock a door that will enable you to get into the power area it's just remembering where the hell it was so it's going to take me a while to trundle back to the, the electronic door So all the way up the stairs, that's the door we need to enter. And that was the computer, I believe, that opens it up. I could be wrong. <laughs> Is it this computer? It could be that computer. But the security passcode should enable us to bypass an area that we were having difficulties with before. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's that one. So once you get the code, run to this computer and then unlock the electrical closet. And that will unlock the door upstairs, that big metal one that I kept going to in those other videos and that will enable me to progress but once again I haven't quite figured that out yet but I will so here we go take a right now even though I take a left because I'm a retard and then down here and there you go the electrical closet is open and then you turn that on and that is the power supply and that is what has taken me three videos to do. So now that you've seen it, as soon as you enter the Sierra Madre, go into the casino, run up to the top of the bar, pick up that security code, run into that next section, open the electrical closet on that computer, then run down here. And that will solve all that problem. Every That, that what took me three hours, you will do in seconds. And right now, we have a choice. We can either go and see Dean, we can either go and see Christine, or we can go and see Dog, or God. And I'm going to go up here into the suites, and I'm going to go to Dino, I think. Oh no, I tell a lie, I'm going to go into the theatre. And basically, you're going to face off against Dean, and depending on what choices you make in the dialogue will depend on whether or not it's an... There we go. Now we're in the theater. So, it's just standard Fallout as normal. Hack the computers, pick up the shit, look on the bodies, and be careful of the high pitched beeping. And there is actually uh, a piece of paper in the other room that will give you the, the code for that to hack it if you're having any problems. It's on that body, I picked it up just then. And that's the speaker that's going to make your collar beep. And there's a ton of them in this room and I, I don't quite see them all. So I have a bit of a problem getting in here. But Dean is on the far side of this area. He's where the stage is. There's another one but you can't destroy that one. And it takes me a while to figure out how to get in this room and be safe. But if you get down here you will trigger the event your collar still beefing so just be careful not to lose your head and there you go there's another speaker that can't be destroyed that will affect you so just be careful of that and now we just have to find a key to, to get backstage and you're gonna see me trundle around and the key is there inside that so now that you've got the key run back onto the stage and it well it triggers this which is your conversation with Dean and this is the choice that you make with him and how you how you do this conversation and my choice is going to be antagonistical because we're going to end up fighting and I'm not too sure what turns out if you make any other choices but it's probably well worth checking out because that's the best thing about these games, how everything plays out differently depending on the actions that you choose. We'll just listen to this asshole talk for a while.
waltzing in here without realizing who the headliner is. Time for a little show. I'll just... See, I've got a speech challenge there, and it's kind of trying to persuade him not to do what he's about to do. But I'm not too sure if he can win this. This might be just preset for you to fight him. See, he still thinks he's a badass, even though he's just a dude in a suit, carrying a pistol. Still giving you shit, even to the end. But the general parenthesis of all this is it's you and him, you've got to chase him backstage and get to him and to do that you're going to have a, a ton of, of bullshit coming your way basically and a little bit of the cloud to, to choke you out and um, it's not too challenging but after you do that, getting out of the room and then going up to the, the balcony area where you change the projector, I had a bit of difficulties on that section, but that's coming up in the next video, so don't worry about that just yet. But here he goes, sets off the holograms, and these holograms will fuck you up if you're not careful. And at first I thought this was going to open up here or something, but it doesn't. It's actually a room on the outskirts of this. It's that door there that enables you to get through. So just go straight through there get the hell out of those holograms and they will not follow you backstage so you're effectively safe now the only threat in here is obviously the beeping and the cloud but the cloud is only on that far corner make sure you shoot that and it'll stop your collar from beeping and there is a vending machine if you're running low on, every, on anything take this time to stock up because this next area you're probably going to get hurt because it's a ton of those holograms and um, they do a lot of damage if you're not if you're getting hit by two to three of them once again the collar's beeping and this is going to be close uh oh ooh look at that, that shit was close and there, I think that's the speaker that was fucking me up yeah, no, there's one in one of these rooms probably and if you activate this, it stops the beeping so there, turn the power off and that should open the next area, so just move out of the way Make sure your collar doesn't take your face off. And you can't go through that door, obviously, because it's filled with a toxic cloud. And I'm taking this time to explore a little bit, because I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going, because those two doors are protected by the, the squeaking, by the frequency, and the beeping. So I retrace a little bit. And then I notice that this is Dean's dressing room. Take that out straight away, and there's his safe if you can hack it, if you can lock pick it, sorry. There we go. Doctor's bag, police pistol, absolutely pointless. <laughs> and that's a hard safe to crack. And there's the key to backstage on his dresser. So when you pick that up, you can run all the way back to where I was getting beat to and open the door. But once again, here's me going through my inventory because this is Fallout after all. And I can happily say that this guide is now back on the way to being an actual guide as opposed to being just a fucking frustration fest. So just walk all the way back to where we came from and use the key. But we're coming to the end of this video, so once again, I'll thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing, and I hope you're enjoying this guide. Stick with it. It does get a little bit more interesting. And um, you guys take care now.